everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a bunch of tasks to do, a bunch of things to talk about. So let's just jump straight into this plenty course video because so much things are kind of happening. And just in the beginning of this video, I want to apologize if I constantly will be out of breath and I'm actually feeling not the best right now because a couple of days ago I got my third vaccine shot from our favorite Toronto, right? <laughs> so yesterday was not the best day of my life. Let's just say it that way, you know? So today I actually have a bunch of things to do that I am really excited about. So let's start from one that I'm the most excited about and this is what I'm the most excited about. <laughs> I know it looks kind of weird, but this is actually a German Shepherd shaped bottle or wolf shaped bottle or just a dog. But for me, it's just simply Rocky shaped bottle, isn't it? Isn't it? Oh my Lord. This is just perfectly shows my baby Rocky and I'm so happy to own this bottle. Actually, my fiance got it for me. This is from some kind of alcoholic drink. I'm not sure, but we got it while, while it was already empty and it was for free. The best thing, right? So I won't use this even though it has a nice sound, right? <laughs> but I actually want to use this bottle as a propagation vase dish right because it just have to be in my videos i just wanna you all see this beautiful piece of art even though i'm pretty sure this was a pretty cheap brandy or whiskey bottle <laughs> but the shape is so cute it's actually a thing from a couple years ago when we had a dog's year so this is you know something about that but anyway i want to put a cutting in here and i was thinking really really hard you know what kind of cutting would work perfectly for this bottle and you know what i at first was thinking maybe to propagate my variegated monstera not this one but another one that uh, that lost its variegation so i thought let's cut it up and see how things will go after that but also this propagation bottle has a pretty thin neck right so i do not want to risk to break all of the roots since monstera's roots are pretty thick you know so in here we will have something a little bit more simple oh my gosh i just cannot get over how beautiful this bottle is right and i want to cut my oh oh okay so i want to cut this satin photos i know it's you probably shouldn't call it that way i actually i'm not sure of the variety you can look into the leaves and tell me what a variety there is. I will really appreciate it. Actually, have a couple yellowing leaves. It's standing in my kitchen right now because it's a mess already. Great, because I don't have enough space for it. But all in all, it seems to be happy. It's growing new leaves right now, which is so, so cute. And this is the branch that I want to propagate and regrow and then replant it all together and have a bushier plant. This is actually a plant from my vacation when I got engaged. So it's a very special plant for me and I really appreciate it. And I want to have it even bushier, even happier. So that's what we are going to do first. And while doing so, while cutting this baby up, I wanted to chat with you about some awesome updates. I'm already out of breath. Here we go. Oh my gosh, it took me five minutes. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, so I'll cut in between the notes, obviously. Uh, painful but anywho so yeah so i actually want to talk about my hand painted photos for those who are not new you know that i actually am selling some of my pots like these ones i decorate them with all of the pictures you want me to decorate them with look at this beautiful maybe let's make a couple cuttings i think yeah okay so what i'm going to do like this Beautiful cutting with beautiful leaf. Yes, we have sun again. This is really exciting. And one like this. 
Okay, I have to tell it because oh my gosh, I'm so focused on the plain things. So I had two orders before New Year's. One was from May and the pot went to the Germany all fine and great. Here's a picture how it looks in her home. I'm so happy. This is my newest design with Rocky holding a box that says houseplant rescuer and this box has a beautiful snake plant and also next to it is firefly which is me right the main star of the show which is rocky and tiny me <laughs> and another design was medusa and firefly design that also reached united states completely fine this time it was for janice so i'm so happy about it okay this probably will take way, way too long right okay let's just open it up I think we need more water. Agno! <laughs> All right, and we're back. <laughs> okay, let's pour in some more water. Oh my gosh, perfect, perfect amount. Amazing, okay. So in here I will have a couple cuttings of my satin potos, right? And I will gladly watch them grow. And I really want just to have it in my background because it's a beautiful plant. I want to submerge a couple notes with roots. And it will look fabulous like a rocky with a houseplant haircut, right? So cute. So adorable. So amazing. Huh? Right? It looks like Rocky from Rio de Janeiro festival, am I right? <laughs> anyway, okay, so this was the first plant core I needed to do, plant core, right? So next thing I want to talk with you is a little bit more sadder, so let's talk about that and this one will look fabulous somewhere over here. Actually, the last plant task I will want to do is to rearrange all of this <laughs> because right now it's actually kind of messy and I want to check all of my plants for pests, trips, because not that long ago I had some trips infestation, so just in case, you know. So I will take you along, we'll rearrange it, make it beautiful because I want more German Shepherds to be visible in this area, you know, so we'll have fun while just decorating this whole shelf situation with plants and stuff, right? But right now, Let's talk about one of the plant business that isn't that fun. Let me grab it. All right, so this is my variegated peace lily or Spotifylum domino. Do you remember how it looked like when I got it? <laughs> I feel such a bad plant, like such a bad plant mom, but during this winter it really died off on me. But just recently it started to push out new leaves and I'm so happy about it. It seems like it's just bouncing back. This is how it looks like right now. Not the happiest plant ever, but once again, shooting new leaves. This is the newest leaf. Cute, right? And since it's not that large, I think this pot right now for it is way too big. I'm pretty sure a lot of roots actually died off in the spot. So what I want to do, I want to repot it. And it's just a really big pot for this tiny plant. And I would rather use this beautiful cover pot or something else in this background just than standing on my windowsill and having this pretty set plant. Right? Does it make sense? I think it does. All right, so let's repot this baby up and hopefully it will bounce back and be so much more happy with me. And actually, we can talk while I'm doing this about my previous video where there was this moment when my boyfriend came back from walking Rocky and he was sharing this really intense story about crows fighting outside, you know? It, he said it was like an action movie. A lot of birds were flying around and stuff was just intense. And actually today he today morning he was walking Rocky again and he saw so many dead crows. It was a bit spooky, you know, it, it just like what the hell just happened? He said he found I think three dead crows. So this is this is ugly business if you ask me, you know? Like what the heck? Let's live friendly crows. 
why you need to kill each other or I don't know what was going on. <laughs> he actually even filmed a whole montage for you guys how he found those dead bodies. And I'm not sure should I put it on my channel or not because I, I don't know how I would feel about it. But he said, but these are crows. But I'm like, but they were living creatures. No? I don't know. I don't know. About the fighting. There is one dead crowd. And... Oof. And second one. And the fight is real over here. I don't know why. Got to be shitting me. Another dead crowd. Three in a row. In these woods. So yeah, so if you were curious, yes, that was a real story. He wasn't talking about some kind of movie. This action was happening for reals. Oh, you don't see a thing. Oh my gosh, why you don't say anything? There you go. There you go, people. Look at that. Okay, so we actually have a really healthy root system, which is really nice. And we also have a really small <laughs> bag. So let me grab this. I think this will be much more helpful. Oh, oh, okay. Bam. I just wanted to get rid of some soil you know because i thought a lot of woods will be died off since a lot of foliage have died off i mean does it make sense in my mind it really did <laughs> but right now i'm not sure anymore you know because all of those roots in the bottom look healthy so what the heck is going on i actually heard that peace lilies like to be root bound i think i saw this on plantarina's channel and I'm not sure about you, but I want to trust that lady because she seems to know what she's doing. Actually, I don't want to damage too many roots. So I think this will be great. Ouch. Okay, so I actually thought to plant it in this see-through pot so I will be able to see how, how he's doing, how the root system is doing and all of that stuff. Look at it. See how see-through that is. So I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. I actually will mix the fresh soil on top of this because I do not have any more dishes and I'm way too tired to go somewhere and look for them. So, so this is what we will gonna work with. Quick question. How many of you have black buggers after reporting your plants? Is it just me? <laughs> I'm actually really curious because whenever I report any kind of plant, I have the soil in my nose, which is a little bit triggering to be honest. Like, is, is it okay? Is it normal? It's so messy. Oh my word. Oh yeah, yeah. Put some sugar on me or some perlite. I think this will be fine. This will be good. This will be nice. Okay. 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 So we have this beautiful see-through pot. Let's add some bottom layer of soil in there. Nice, that's okay. Actually right now, I think the mother plant kind of died off. It's still pushing out new leaves, right? But we also have five babies. So we still have hope, right? The hope is still here. Perfect, isn't it? Oh my gosh, genius idea. I actually can see that while I'm hitting this pot, some of the pieces of perlite are falling in between the roots. That's good. Okay, I think this will be a really nice change for this beautiful peace lily because this is actually such a beautiful plant when it's happy and all grown up, you know. So I still have hope that this spring it will bounce back and just look fabulous and cool and be a pride possession of mine. So never give up on your plants. Never throw them away just because they don't look that good right now. Because who knows, maybe in a month, maybe in six. <laughs> if you have patience, they will look fabulous and everybody will be jealous of them. Trust me. 
trust the process, trust the plant and the nature. Okay, so we are all hot and all done with this beautiful peace lily. I can see the roots already, right? But we still have a layer of soil that is already for those roots. So soon I will give you an update. We'll see how this thing is growing. Is it happy and all of that? But right now, right now we have another important business, which is preparing this stuff to look fabulous. So let's do that. After I clean this. Okay. Right now I want to actually clean everything in here and put all together as a beautiful, beautiful background, beautiful, beautiful shelf. So let's get to work. So obviously first what I want to do, I want to take everything out of here. So it won't be in my, oh, oh, everything fine. Okay, guys, look at these beautiful blooms on my Phalaenopsis. This is actually reblooming for me, which I'm so proud of. Like such a good plant mama, you know? Okay, we actually have here some plants that need some haircuts. This is my Spotifylum Frosted Heart. I know that Wild Fern is on the look for one. I'm sorry for moving it. This table is a little bit wobbly. We also have this beautiful philodendron fuzzy petiole. Look at this thing. It's actually putting out two beautiful new leaves. This is number one, this is number two. Look at them, look at them grow. So excited, so beautiful. Makes me really proud. I actually also have this beautiful Monstera Peru. Look at it. New leaf on the way. This one isn't in the best shape, but I have big hope for this one because right now it looks fabulous. It looks pretty good. So really happy with this one as well. Okay, we also have my Rafidophora tetrasperma cuttings that are rooting from mama plant. Really beautiful, baby. Really, really beautiful. So this one obviously won't stay here. I'll put it somewhere else. Some random stuff. <laughs> My beautiful Sensivaria Metallica. Look at that. Look at all that new growth. Huh? How beautiful that is, right? Oh my gosh, I'm so happy about it. I'm not going to move that cactus because it's insane. We also have this Sankayana Fireflies. Really beautiful specimen. Love this baby plant. We also have my Ficus alii that I rescued. These were actually a couple branches that I found outside and boom, it's a full on growing plant. Amazing. Plants are just amazing. And last but not least is my gorgeous ZZ Raven that needs a shower. Yeah, but we're gonna work on that later. I'm gonna need a shower too, to be honest. And we'll also have my Hogwarts pride and joy okay so right now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna clean this shelf and then i'll be back all done nice and fresh beautiful so right now is my favorite part is just to play around with my plants and to put them somewhere i actually am thinking maybe i should put this one in here as well huh Guys, I'm sorry if you will see my pants. They're all hairy from Rocky's fur. He's actually shedding like a sheep right now. Oh, I don't know. We're still gonna work on that. Okay, so I like to put this ZZ Raven in back over there because it's doing great there. So why the heck not? Plus, plus I love how he looks in my background. He just fills up the space with some beautiful contrasting colors. But right now you don't see the stripes on my Z on my alocasia. Hmm. Go there like that maybe. Okay, okay, okay. This ficus will go here. Okay. Alright. We are doing kinda good. Right? This one over here because it just looks beautiful over there. Just it's spot, you know? Okay, and then. I wanna go in with my Sansevieria. I actually am using this tiny dish from Creme Brulee. 
just to catch some extra moisture and also give it a little bit of height like so i like how all of those blue pots look together right plus beautiful contrast with terracotta that's why i'm hiding that gray one because he's not working here you know i actually was thinking to put my philodendron into this pot maybe you're going to go into a bigger terracotta pot and this one will go for now over here huh yeah so much better okay so you will go over here my sankayana fireflies is actually doing really good out there so i'm gonna keep it in there like so okay my refidophora can go over here this time even though i don't really like how this pot looks like but this is a cover pot so i can always change it plus these leaves need some dusting okay also let's not forget about my beautiful german shepherd that will stay maybe like this where is my another german shepherd and this one wait maybe maybe like that right and this one will be like this double german shepherd appreciation spot and then this one will go over here like this huh huh what do you think what do you think i think it looks good does it does it okay and we have a bunch of plants left so something like that okay we're gonna hide it because right now it doesn't look the best but still we'll get will give a little bit beautiful filler with foliage and then obviously i want to showcase my beautiful blooms on phalaenopsis so we'll go over here just like that oh my gosh it looks fabulous and last but not least we'll put these beautiful micans over here so we can grow you know and fill the space up and I'm gonna look for a beautiful cover pot for it as well. Okay, so let me show you how it all looks like from different angles. Right guys, so this is how it looks like right now. Like a beautiful messy jungle with so many different textures, so many different colors, knickknacks like these ones, right? What do we think? I love how this alocasia just pops up over here. Looks fabulous. And plus, this is where the grow light works really nicely. So it have a little bit more light, a little bit more humidity from all of those plants. Oh, fabulous. So last things I left to do is to wash a couple of those plants leaves. I will do it in the spot so I won't need to move them. And that's about it soon i'm gonna need to work on this shelf as you can tell it's also messy but for now oh my gosh i'm really happy with how it turned out beautiful all right guys that will be it for today's video i did a bunch of work i was planning on i am actually really proud with how everything turned out i love those pops of colors pop pops of ooh, stripes over here love those little teeny tiny knickknacks let me know how do you feel about this whole arrangement would you work the same way as i did maybe you would change some things up i would really like to hear your opinions and how you would do these things because you know it's always nice to have some support and some options and some different ideas so please share those ideas in the comments i will really appreciate it and before leaving let me teach you another language lesson so since <laughs> random one since we had a bottle in this video right let me teach you how to say a bottle in lithuanian and in russian so if you want to say bottle in lithuanian you need to say buteles once again buteles and if you want to say bottle in russian you need to say butilka once again butilka weird right kind of similar in all of those three languages but also not that really all of them have some kind of spice thank you so much for watching guys 
please like this video if you enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel actually i have some kind of weird problem because every single day the very same amount of people unsubscribe from my channel which is really doesn't seem appropriate should i say because if people would unsubscribe from my channel every single day would be a pretty different number right if you would think um practically and logically right but no every single day just the same amount of people unsubscribe from my channel so i'm really sure that something might be wrong with my youtube algorithms or something you know i don't know anything about these things so i'm really worried because i really hope you will stay in this channel because i put a lot of heart and a lot of work into this so please make sure if you are subscribed if you haven't please do so because i will i would love to have you and till the next time guys bye